Why do you have such a hand dog look, Greg? You can just tell in your facial expressions, your body posture, but most of all, your eyes. Just how sad you really are that she didn't credit you. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, Shane uploaded a very long video yesterday with another creator known as Eugenia. Now, I had made a video prior on her before. Sometime last year, I mentioned that I was thoroughly convinced that the mother of Eugenia was the main culprit in everything that was ongoing with her ED. Well, now over a year later, it seems that my prediction and my observation of the particular creator here on YouTube and the parental interactions that they had were absolutely right because Jacqueline Glenn uploaded a follow-up video last night titled The Return of Eugenia, The Real Truth, which I'm going to link it down below in the description. I recommend you click it and watch it. Now, over a year ago, when I predicted that the mother was the main culprit behind all of this happening with her and that her mother refused to let her actually get treatment or get help, that makes this situation very, very, very delicate. I don't know how many people understand that when you have an abusive parental figure and that abusive parental figure controls every aspect of your life, you could be 25 years old and your mother or father controls every type of communication that you have, that level of control, that level of abuse is the main culprit for why people relapse when they are finished with their rehab or recovery program. A toxic environment that caused you the grief and the issues that you're going through and you get out of that household, you get someplace safe, you, you work your way up, you, you go through the, the process of getting help, and then all of a sudden, you're right back where you're started in the same environment, in the same people, influencing and affecting your life in one of the most toxic, vitriolic ways that you can imagine. What do you, as a friend, as somebody who's trying to do something, what do you do in that situation? Again, go watch Jacqueline's video. I recommend you watch it. I recommend you watch Shane's video. Because honestly, I love Shane's video and I like Jacqueline's video. I like both of them. You know, despite popular belief, Greg, a lot of what you do doesn't actually anger me. A lot of my responses, while they are valid, they're done for the lulls. I do it because people find it entertaining. But every once in a while, every great once in a while, you actually do something that infuriates me to my core and I'm doing everything in my pos uh, in my um, strength right now to be, comp to be composed and not scream at a camera like a cringe lord. Because that's what, that's what I want to do. I want to yell at a camera. That's not really going to solve anything. I actually hate you now. Like officially, you can you mark my words, I hate you. And what you don't seem to realize, Greg, is that you are identical to Eugenia's mother. Yes, you're identical to her. You're manipulative, you're controlling. And I don't I don't need to I don't even need to show anything at this point. Like it it's it's out there. Everybody knows these things. But most of all, the most closest resemblance you have of Eugenia's mother is the fact that you control your husband. You control every aspect of your husband. Your husband's YouTube channel, guess who uploads it? You. Guess who controls her comment section? You. Guess who edits her videos? You. Guess who responded to her years ago when I sent her an email? You. You have control of her email and all of her communication. And that, to me, is terrifying that you are identical to Eugenia's mother. But not only are you identical to Eugenia's mother, you're not in a position to congratulate somebody and say, good job. Because it's already been established that Eugenia reached out to you personally and asked you to stop talking about her. And instead, you continue to do so. Now, you justify it in your brain that because I said positive, uplifting things, therefore, that invalidates the thi of her requesting me to stop. But if you actually knew anything about somebody with ED, you would know that somebody who is just out of recovery, who is recovering with something, and this stems not just for ED, by the way, but if you go up to somebody with ED who just, you know, put on some weight and looks a lot better, and you go up to them and say, you know what, you look so good now. You look so good now compared to what you looked like last year. You look so good. Oh my gosh, you look so much better. Those phrases right there actually do damage to people who are struggling and recovering. It's actually, it can cause them to fully relapse. And that's what you're not understanding. You don't understand this at all. In fact, a, a, a couple weeks ago, you got in a debate with a nurse on one of your Onision live streams. 
and she was trying to explain that to you. You justify in your brain that if you say something positive and uplifting to somebody who is recovering and who was almost passed away, you dismiss everybody's thoughts, you dismiss everybody's concern, and you go with what Greg thinks is the right way, not what the recovery victim is going through, not what they need to hear, not what they don't want to hear, and yet you continue to blast through your disgusting teeth that you somehow influenced or helped her. Now, in your most recent video, you say that Shane has far more influence and has helped her in more ways than you ever could, and you're right. He has, among others on this platform, but you are a contributor of people who are recovering that caused them to relapse. That's the reality. And you can't face that. You refuse to accept that because Greg can't be wrong when it's dealing with somebody's life or death situation. And to me, that is so screwed up. And you make a video, which by the way, is your most high viewed video in like the last almost three, two to three months because it almost has 80,000 views already. And everybody predicted exactly what you were going to do and that's exactly what you did. You uploaded a video congratulating and linking all their videos. But here's the reality, Greg. The internet doesn't forget. You made a video about this girl mocking her for having ED. And no matter what you say, no matter what you do, we are never going to forget that because it's a conflict it completely contradicts everything that you try to spew in, oh, I'm helping her, I'm saying positive words, therefore it's okay even though she asked me to stop. What's terrifying about you, Greg, is that if someone asks you to stop uh, and you do stop for a short duration, then you continue again. It makes me wonder what you're really capable of. We all know that your father is a diddler, right? It really terrifies me that your father was a diddler and yet, your concept of stopping when someone asks you to stop really concerns me of what else you're pos what, what else you're capable of doing to someone. If your skewed position of stop isn't, oh, I'll stop for, you know, a day, but then I'll continue it on uh, when I feel like it's necessary. That's a scary thought, you know? That's a terrifying thought. And yet, here you are. Exactly like Eugenia's mother, here you are, not understanding that you contributed to somebody by saying some of the most damaging words you can to somebody, that despite them asking you to stop, hey, please stop talking about me, please stop even talking about me positively because it's affecting my, my, my health, and you continue to do so. I am actually scared for your children when they reach the age of where they can experience such mental issues because you're going to be the cause of that. I guarantee it.